Grace? Grace? Where is she? Dunno. I went to meet for a coffee, talk about twins' baptism, which didn't show up. Grace, I need to speak to you. I really wanted to show her this hot priest I just met. Grace! Are you okay? Curtis pushed Lexi and injured her. Eh? It wasn't my fault. I didn't cause Lexi's epilepsy. I'm just glad that she finally told you. Told him what? Do you know how much sleep I've lost over this? How much pain and torment I've put myself through? Yeah, and it killed me seeing you like that, all right? That's why I did everything I could to support you. You just sat back in silence. Freddie, calm down, yeah? No! You knew Curtis pushed Lexi and you didn't say a word. Yeah, and I hated myself for it. I hate you! Okay, enough. You're the only reason that I left Lexi alone in the first place. I came to help you after your colonoscopy, and this is how you repay me. And I am so sorry. No, you're not. He's just as bad as her. I'm going for a coffee. I'll be at park if you want to come. I was trying to protect my son. Why protect our marriage? And you thought keeping this a secret was good for your marriage. What is wrong with you? I was scared of losing you. Listen, I... I know that this isn't the life that we thought we'd have, all right? Living on this crummy boat. But I was putting on a brave face. Because it felt like you were slipping away from me. And then Lexi got hurt and she started having seizures and we were worried about her 24-7. I mean, how was I supposed to tell you that my son was involved? But we'll make this better, all right? We'll get Lexi back full custody. It's too late. No, no, but I can speak to Maxine, or we'll get the best lawyer that we can. I will make this up to you. You can't. There's no coming back from this. Wait, what, what are you saying? If you were worried about losing me before, well, you have now. No. Wait, no. Please.